Well, she was the first to announce she was running for mayor, and now Amy Lathan is the first to join us for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thanks. Well, first off, before the debates, we did a poll that showed you were in third place, but a mm -hmm. third of our respondents didn't know who they were voting for. So right. what are you doing right now to convince those to vote for you? Oh, my gosh, talking to everyone, mm -hmm. you know, going to groups everywhere, town hall meetings, forums, uh, small groups in, in people's living rooms, uh, just coffee clutches, things like that. Anything that we need to do just to, to listen to people and to talk to them and see what their perspectives are. Well, and on your platform, I saw something that I've never seen before, and that's an emphasis on joy. Why is joy <laughs> so important in running uh, city? Joy matters. Mm -hmm. You know, we deal with a lot of very serious issues. We deal with a lot of technical issues, drainage and potholes and things that, that matter in service delivery. But ultimately, we have, we have staff and we have citizens who work together to deliver those things. And it goes to morale mm -hmm. and, and the ability to, to deliver those services well and to be people together and have joy. That goes to service. That helps. Okay, and in November, uh, the stormwater fee, your baby, it failed. Uh, uh, yep. where, where do you go from here? You know, we just need to keep talking about what did you like, what did mm -hmm. you not like. We still have responsibilities from the state and the federal level that we have to comply with to control the energy of water as it runs through our community, um, through Fountain, Fountain Creek Watershed. That's really critical, not only to the responsibilities that we have to our neighbors, but to the core infrastructure that we have and we all use. So we're going to continue to talk about this and see what people want us to do. And one criticism we heard after last night's debate uh, was these candidates they're all the same they're saying the same things how do you respond to that you know we're not we come from different mm -hmm. directions we come from different experience um, we do have different perspectives some of us agree on a number of things mm -hmm. of course um, some of this is is again it's service delivery but this is local government and this is what I do day in and day out and what I have been doing for years right here in this community um, and it sets me apart I think in terms of knowing the systems and what I want to change in order to be able to develop business better so that they can get through the processes and we can deliver better services. Okay, now let's have a little fun. Okay. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Listen first. That's a good one. Oh, huge. I'm going <laughs> to I need that one. <laughs> yes. Okay, if somebody wrote a biography about you, what would the title of it be? Uh, she is she loves to play games. <laughs> Oh, well, good. We'll keep playing um, this okay, one. Okay, all right. Uh, so if you could have dinner with anybody from history, dead or alive, who would it be? Ronald Reagan. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, my gosh. All right, last these questions. Question. I have yeah, heard this these. Fun, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> if you were on an island, you could only bring three things, what would those things be? Oh, my gosh. Well, can I bring my family? Does that count as sure, a thing? Sure, they can be a thing. Okay, they're a thing. <laughs> they're one thing. They're one Two thing. Two Ah, my dog. Um, uh, and, uh, wow, this is a tough one. Um... <laughs> uh, uh, you can't I'm, say pictures because you, you already brought the family. Brought the family. <laughs> I've already got them. Um, food. Yeah. <laughs> Very food. essential. Okay. You're practical. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. It's